you know, there are some days, obviously, you want to just throw them all on, but at the end of the day, that's not good for your, your spine. What's up, everybody? It's Kelly Ubre Jr. from the Charlotte Hornets. We're going to talk about my jewelry, and this is On The Rocks. This was uh, my first Cuban link chain that I got. I got this from Raffaello in New York. And this was 60,000 right here. This piece right here is sentimental to me because, you know, big Cuban links weren't really the thing at the time. I just wanted a big Cuban link that would really just hit. This is the most simple chain that I have, to be honest with you. Okay, another New York jeweler. You probably won't see this style of Cuban on anybody. It's pretty much like emerald cut all the way around. But if you look on the inside, there's diamonds in the clasp as well. I got these from Aviani. Alex Moss was working with Aviani at the time as his creative designer. You know, he designed this Cuban link chain and I went up to the store when I was in New York one time. You know, Alex presented me with this piece right here. I might halfway cry when I tell you all the price of this one, but I had to get it because nobody else had it. I mean, I try to pride myself on being different than everybody else because I am. It was 90,000. So yeah, I paid $90,000 for this Cuban link chain right here. Yeah, man, y'all know that feeling, that gut feeling when you spend money and you like, damn. I really just did that, but I had to. This Cuban link actually has baguettes on the inside of it. And it's also little pave diamonds around the outside. I do love Cuban links. I just love the sturdiness of them, especially when I have heavy pieces that need to be held. Couldn't tell you how many kilos these weigh, but these aren't light chains. These are pretty heavy. My very first custom piece that I created. This is my skull, my brand, Dope Soul. I also bought my fiance one as well. Hers is on pink rubies and mine is on the tennis chain. These cost 30, but I have a heart over the third eye. And then I also have a heart as the nose with the skull just dripping because at the end of the day, you know, y'all know how we do, we drip. This is like my first piece that really showed the logo. You know, I'm trying to have this skull be known internationally so that if you think of a skull, you think of the Dope Soul skull. Dope Soul is not only a brand, but a community of individuals who have been told that they either weren't, can't, or aren't gonna ever be able to do whatever they want to do in this life. You are a dope soul, man. If you have passion for anything and you pursue your dreams and you follow your dreams and don't let anybody tell you. You know, this is the second dope soul pendant that I, I copped. It's like a statement piece so that you have the dope soul here and then you have diamonds all around the dope soul so that it pops out. It's two-tone, rose gold, white gold, 140,000. But it means a lot to me because it's my brand, it's my baby. It is the big dog. You mean? So I got this after we finally uh, showed use of the brand and we launched Dope Soul. You know, this is big pointers in the lock in itself. So, you know, obviously you have to get big pointers in the Cuban. This weighs about, I can't tell you how many kilos. It's 14 karat BBS, white gold. And this this bad boy is heavy. I ain't really tripping on the back pains because I lift every day. So I'll be all right. This is that blast chain that, you know what I'm saying? You rock, everybody sees it. I get to explain to them that this is my brand, dopesoul.co. And go to the website, you'll see. That one costs about 200. I ain't gonna lie to you. 190 to be exact. I ain't gonna lie, that's a house. Sheesh. And we're gonna talk about my Chrome Hearts collection. I've been wearing Chrome Hearts probably since like 2014, 2015. I just love the classicness, you know, the timelessness of the brand. You know, this is my Florida Lee ring. This is another ring, just like the one I have on. It spins. And this is my pinky ring. This has crosses all around the band. Very simple, artistic, and straight to the point. This right here actually has diamonds in it. Um, it's very small diamonds around the band itself. I mean, just the detail within these rings is crazy. All the pieces that they create, I look at them as art. So I will probably have these forever. You know, my Chrome Hearts bracelet. It's another Fleur de Lis. Fleur de Lis for me are very personal because I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. And you know, it's kind of a staple. It really just represents where I'm from. Right here, this is a, a wallet chain. It's Chrome Hearts as well, but it's just straight Fleur de Lis. This actually ran me about five bands. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Chrome Hearts ain't cheap because it's very good good quality stuff. This is my only wallet chain actually, and I'm proud to say that because you know, I could have bought multiple wallet chains with the amount that this would cost. This is an adjustable Chrome Hearts. They call it a crucifix, crucifix choker. You know, the weekend wore this one. So if you want to wear it kind of like a rosary, you could wear it like that. You know, I kind of wear this with my, my my other cross pieces. But that leads me to my, my Chrome Hearts cross ball chains. And this is like, you know, my big boy version of the cross chains that I have. I definitely feel very blessed when I wear these. So if I do want to wear some crosses every day, I could just wear some my Chrome Hearts crosses. You know, just keep it very simple, but you know, also, just, if you know, you know type thing, you dig. That's my Chrome Hearts collection right there. 
On to my watches, man. I'm gonna start with the simple versions. These are these custom 18 karat gold Apple watches. This actually has a gator strap. That's uh, solid gold as well. Rolex clasp, actually. This, this Rolex right here is obviously missing from this group, but I'm gonna put you back with your family, brother. It's all good. So this is obviously my only iced out watch, like I said. These are all investment pieces. This is a Rolex Skydweller. Rose gold, rare Rolex Skydweller watch. And yeah, it's broke. You know, we were expecting our first child. We had Thanksgiving dinner, a whole family gender reveal, and I dunked the basketball. And then my watch was on my left hand, so my watch flew off. It's broken, it's been broken for a year, but this is my favorite watch as well, because I could wear it with a lot of my pieces. So this right here is a, um, a day date. Very simple watch, you know what I'm saying? With a green face, slime green. This was actually a gift from um, the big homie DA, DeAndre Aiden. My um, yellow gold sky dweller with a white face. More when I wear suits and more so classic vibe. Again, 40,000. These two sky dwellers I actually, and this Yacht Master, I got them in a package deal from Zoe Frost. I spent about 120 on them all together, but it was an investment piece because I, he told me, he pretty much convinced me that they would appreciate and I just put all my faith in that. Yeah, so I paid about like 40K for this Rose Gold Sky Dweller and then obviously 60K for this Bust Down Sky Dweller. This day date, it was a gift, so I don't know how much he paid, but I would guess 15. And this brings me to my last watch and it is the big dog, the Yacht Master 2 with the blue face. You know what I'm saying? I just caught this one to be real presidential. Um, I really feel like a boss when I wear this one, but the thing is, I can't wear this one unless I wear something with blue in it. This is probably the biggest Rolex on the market right now, as far as size-wise. I wouldn't say style-wise, but this probably ran me probably 50,000. So I'm a big Rolex fan, of course. You know, Rolex has been around for a very long time. I love timeless and classic brands, you know, of people who don't necessarily follow trends, who continue to stick to their motto. And Rolex is one of those brands who have continues to kept it consistent throughout their whole existence. You know, you see APs, you see Richard Millies, you see all these brands, they're just fads. Like they're fads because artists and rappers wear them. But you know, at the end of the day, it was really appreciating. The consumer has confidence that a Rolex will be around forever. So that's why the Rolex will continuously appreciate. My favorite piece will have to be my fiance's chain because to be able to see her growth over the past two years to now being a successful CEO of her own business, it's really like breathtaking to me. This was a birthday gift that I got to, for her this year, staple logo, this is her skull. You see it, it says CEO on the back, this is hers. We're building an empire here, so I'm just super proud of her for getting this thing up and rolling. Stay tuned, Shy Beauty. That's all the pieces that I have here. And you know, I'm proud of my collection and I'm gonna keep working my ass off, man, to continue to just show you guys more art from that comes from up here that I can put into diamonds or clothes or put onto the court. Obviously, this is not considered normal, but I don't care, I'm myself, I'm a dope soul. And you know, I, I am unapologetically me. So I love jewelry and I, I love to work hard to continue to buy trophies for myself. So that's all this is. That was On The Rocks with GQ. Thank you guys, man. See y'all this season.